Can I see your ID? A very important question for us to uh, all consider. And obviously I'm talking about our kingdom identity and purpose. And today I wanted to talk to you about the identity of Jacob and the life of Jacob and what can we learn from his personal life. And one of the lessons is this, that all of us, absolutely all of us need to have a personal encounter with God. It doesn't matter how you look at it, it doesn't matter how it is, it's not a question of, of a geographical place or a time or a season, it's just we all need to have a personal encounter with God. And obviously one of the things that we learned from uh, this encounter that uh, Jacob had with God was he ended up wrestling, you know, as the Bible says, he wrestled with God and with man. And uh, when he had this uh, wrestling match with God, or as I would like to call it, the encounter with God, you know, he was asked this question, who are you? And, you know, uh, you know, he thought, you know, God was asking for his name. He's like, oh, my name is Jacob. He's like, okay. He goes, no problem. He goes, I, I'm giving you a brand new name. Your name's going to be called Israel, which means a nation. And what's so interesting is the couple lessons I can take away from this uh, to get my point across is that when we were away from God, when we were in the world, we carried a different name. I'm not talking about like a, like a personal biological name. Oh, my name is Stan, but in the world I was called Bill. No, I'm not talking about that. But what happens is that uh, when we did not know God and we were away from God in the world, we lived by a different name. We lived by different principles. We lived by sin. So that sin uh, put its own imprint upon us. And we understand that the name of Jacob means he was a liar he was a deceiver so when he told God that his name is Jacob there is much more deeper meaning to that God's like I know you're a liar you're a deceiver he goes but that's your old nature that's your old man he goes, God's like you're no longer gonna be that liar that deceiver I'm gonna give you a new birth name I'm gonna give you as you know as the word like to call again you know be born again and it, God's like look I'm gonna give you another name that's gonna carry uh, my kingdom imprint my kingdom identity on it it's gonna be called Israel and you're going to give a birth to a whole new nation. So uh, what I wanted to challenge you with, uh, my friend, is uh, in accordance to one of the lessons we can learn from the life of, of Jacob is this, that um, do not allow uh, your past to, to hunt you of what uh, inscription it inscribed upon your life. Like you're a loser, uh, you're a drunkard, you're, you're, you were a drug addict, you were a prostitute, uh, you had broken marriage, broken relationships, you, you were in prison, you were a criminal, so on and so forth. You know, that, that's what... Uh, uh, the enemy of our soul is going to try to inscribe to. That's why it's very important for all of us to have a personal encounter with God. I remember when I had my personal encounter with God, my life changed. My life transformed. And I'm not necessarily limiting this to a sinner's prayer. Sinner's prayer, it's, it's a good start. It's a great start. What I'm talking about is that when you have a personal encounter with God, uh, He's going to, through the power of the Holy Spirit, is going to begin to reveal to you by saying, look, Stan, this is who you used to be. These are the things you used to do, but I have a greater purpose for you I have something greater for you and as you have that personal encounter with God he's gonna start leading you into a new path into a new direction he's gonna start to pull you away from your former thinking uh, maybe even from your former lifestyle from your former habits from your former friendships relationships and etc he's gonna set you God is gonna set you through the power of the Holy Spirit and his word upon the right path and his good direction by saying look I'm changing your nature I'm changing your mindset or allow me to change your nature allow me to change your mindset allow me to change your thinking your perception of life because I have a great purpose for you and God's gonna start giving you his dream is gonna lay it upon your uh, your heart his vision for your life is gonna lay it upon your heart He's gonna uh, lead you into the direction uh, that he wants you to go that uh, so we understand that Jacob was no longer a Jacob he was Israel something uh, that we understand as a new nation new hope a new beginning and that's what God wants to do for all of us is to totally give a transformational change in our personal life and as he does that believe me your life is gonna change in a whole different direction. You're going to be blessed personally and you're going to become a blessing to others. Until next time, my friend.